in this tutorial I am going to show you how to make a round dish scrubby. I'm going to show you how to make this using tool. Tool is often used for decorations. Um, you'll see it often used um, in weddings when they decorate with it. And believe it or not, it is also great for scrubbing your dishes. So let's go ahead and get started. I will show you what you will need to make this dish scrubby today. You will need a crochet hook and some tool. Now, I made this one in pink, but we're going to go ahead and create one today in yellow in the same pattern as the pink one. And this tool, I purchased it at my local Walmart. You can buy tool um, in a bolt in a fabric store and have it cut by the yard, but then you'll have to cut all the strips um, and then connect them together. Now this comes on the spool, and I really like to use this because it is six inches long, and some people like to cut their strips into two or three inches. So if you want, you can cut it right in half. You don't even really have to measure. You just kind of cut it in half. Um, I actually created this dish scrubby without cutting it. I used the whole width of it, which makes a nice, sturdy, thick um, scrubby. It's not too thick. It's just right. So I think this is real convenient because you don't even have to cut anything. It's ready to go. And it's stock crocheting. You just have to open the package. So I'm going to go ahead and open the package here. I'll go ahead and pause the video while I do that, and I'll be right back. Now that I have my tool open, the package, um, the outer package has been taken off, I am ready to begin crocheting my round dish scrubby. So what I like to do is I have this little black plastic basket. You can get these at the dollar store, Dollar Tree, even Walmart has these. They come in like a three or four pack. Um, it's usually just a dollar for three or four, and it's just perfect to hold your tool in as you crochet along. So let me go ahead and set that aside. And like I said, I'm not even going to cut it. I'm going to use the whole width of the six inches. So how easy is that? No cutting, just ready to go and start crocheting the scrubbies and they come out just perfectly. So what we're going to do is we are going to start with a slip knot. And you want to make sure that you leave a good sized tail on there. You don't want to make it too small because we want to be able to weave that in because we want to make sure that it doesn't unravel after we're done. Now I've chosen to use the size J or 10. It's a six millimeter crochet hook. And what we want to do is we want to start off with a chain five. So we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to join that with a slip stitch to the first chain that we created to form a ring. Okay, so there's the ring that we just formed. So now what we're going to do is we, for round one, we're going to chain one and we're going to do 12 single crochets into the center of our, our ring, our circle. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, ten, we need two more, eleven, and twelve. So I'm going to count my stitches to make sure I have twelve before I begin round two. Perfect. There's my 12 stitches. So now I'm going to join that with a slip stitch. And there's round one. So now we're going to move on to round two. So for round two, we're going to chain one. And we're going to do a half double crochet right into that same stitch there. And if you want, you can work your work into along with it. You know, that way you don't have to weave it in. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. I should have done that on the first one. I normally do. I left it out. So we're going to go ahead and work it in now because this is going to be the front side. Okay. So it's okay to still weave it in because we won't see it. So I'm going to go ahead and do a half double crochet here. 
and I'm going to do a half double crochet in every single stitch around. So when we're done with this round, we will have 12 half double crochets. Okay, so a half, one half double crochet in every single stitch, and I'm working that tail in so I won't have to weave it in later. Okay, I'm just going to keep doing a half double crochet. Now this is tool, which um, it's not as rough as like some pot scrubbers. So you can use this like on things that, you know, I wouldn't use it on your nylon pans, you know, your ones with the coating, because you don't want that lining to scratch in, in any way. But I've, I've used this on regular dishes, like plates and things like this, like that, and it's been just fine. It hasn't ruined anything. I wouldn't use it on your ch china, but your everyday dishes, it's just fine. Now, if you want a heavy duty scrubber, then you would use, um, instead of using tool, you would actually buy the nylon netting. At the fabric stores, they have a nylon netting, which is a rougher, um, it's rougher than tool. And that, you could just follow the same pattern if you wanted to make that. So now you want to make sure that you have 12 half double crochets. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. So now you're going to connect that with a slip stitch. And the reason why you want to count it, because that first one that you always begin with, you do the chain one. Sometimes that looks like a stitch, and that's why you want to count. You could always put a stitch marker, and then you would know as well. So that is going to be connected with a slip stitch to the top of that first half double crochet. And see, netting is a little tricky to work with. Well, the, the tool, I mean. So go ahead and connect it with a slip stitch. There we go. And that completes round two. So now what you want to do is you want to chain two. And then we're going to do a double crochet into the same stitch. Okay, and then we are going to do two double crochets into the next stitch. second double crochet into the same stitch. So essentially we're doing two double crochets in everything, every stitch around. This one, um, it was a chain three and then a double crochet, but that counts as our first double crochet. So two double crochets in every stitch around. Now you could make both sides the same color. Um, if you wanted to have one that looked like, you know, just all one color, you could um, make each side a different color. So you could have like this side yellow and then make another one in a different color um, if you wanted to have, you know, reversible sides, different colors. Um, I am going to do both sides in yellow on this one. But the, um, I have made them with a different color on each side, and they're really cute. And then you can also do, you know, like two different colors. And then when we connect this, we're going to be connecting it with a slip stitch, the two pieces together. When you connect them, you can use a third color. So it's just up to you. I've done that too. And I can show you those in future tutorials. We'll do one like that. Okay, so two double crochets. So when we're done with this round, we're going to have 24 double crochets. Oops, that one. I have to redo that one. <laughs> So as you can see, even though it's six inches wide, um, you definitely can still work with it. You don't have to cut your strips. 
and I like it because then the, it's nice and it's just a perfect size that makes it, makes it like a size medium. If you prefer a thinner one, then definitely you can cut them in half. And I can actually show you that in another tutorial. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I cut this in half. And because when you're cutting it, you want to make sure that you kind of wind it as you go. And I'll show you how I do that in, the next, in another tutorial. As a matter of fact, I think I'll show you that in the next one. Because there is another scrubby I'm going to show you where I would want to cut them into 3 inch strips to make it. So I'll show you that one in the future one. Okay, so now we want to make sure that we have our 24 stitches. So I'm going to double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Because that chain 3 comes as the first one. So now let's go ahead and join that with a slip stitch to the top there of that chain 3. And there you have your first half of your scrubby. So now what you want to do is you want to repeat that same pattern we just did and create a second one. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while I go ahead and make um, a second half real quick and then I will show you how to put it together. Okay, so um, that first one that we created, I did go ahead and cut off um, a tail here and left that unfastened here. And then I did create a second one. And I'm not going to cut a tail off yet. I'm going to leave that connected because we're going to still work with the other one. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead, the first one that we just made, I'm going to go ahead and slip that through to fasten off. Okay? So now, what you want to do is you can kind of see where they're curling up a little bit. That's going to be the side on the outside. Okay, not, in other words, you don't want to have, see how they kind of look like a little, they're curving upward? That's the outside. Okay? So you're going to put those together, like that. And you want to go ahead and put your hook back in. And then you're going to find the coordinating stitch behind it. And put those tails like in here. There we go. And then go ahead and join it with a slip stitch. Push it right through to the other one. And you're going to do a slip stitch. And then you're going to find the next stitch and the coordinating stitch behind it right there and you're going to join it with a slip stitch okay, so we're going to do that all the way around Okay, so before I continue, you can see you had these little tails left over. You want to weave them in a little bit like I already have and then tie them. This is the back side, so you're not going to see it. And tie them a few times so that way they don't unravel on you. Because you want these to last a while because, like I said, these are great because they're machine washable, so they you can use them over and over again. Basically, you can use them until they fall apart. <laughs> and... They're also great because a lot of people will put them in the top shelf of their dishwasher to clean. So we want to make sure that these will be around for a while because, like I said, they can last a few months um, differently. So then I'm going to cut it, the tail a little bit, but I'm not going to cut it all the way to make sure that it doesn't undo that knot that we just did. Okay, so now put them back together and we're going to just continue around doing our slip stitches. So just find you know, stick the crochet hook underneath the top of the V-stitch there, you know, underneath your stitches from the first one to the back one, and then pull that yarn over through, back to the front, and just do a slip stitch. So go ahead and insert the hook to that one, and the one behind it. So basically we're just slip stitching them both together, all the way around. So no need to sew afterwards, just slip stitch around.
I'll tell you, the first time I ever made one of these and used it, I never bought a sponge again. You will Once you've tried this, it's pot scrubby, you'll never buy another sponge. <laughs> these are great. And they're so pretty. You can make them in so many colors. They make wonderful gifts. Um, so if you're not sure what to get somebody, just make them, you know, a few of these and put them in a little pretty basket or box and they'll love them. That's a great gift idea. Okay, so we just keep going all the way around. So, as you can see, like I said, you the, it does curl up when we first when we finished it before we connect them, but because we're connecting them now, it's taking care of that. So then it lays more flat afterwards. See how that one is? And it's wonderful too because the tool comes in so many pretty colors. It makes so many different colors. So I'm sure you can get, you know, make them in your favorite colors or. Cause I actually just put an order to Amazon and they had like a pack with 20 different colors so I'm expecting that in the mail tomorrow along with some other things I got so I'll have to go ahead and post a video show you those items that I got I'm kind of excited to see the colors I believe it was like 20 it might have been a little bit more but it was at least like 20 different colors at all so I will definitely show you that when I get my order from Amazon tomorrow Alright, so now we just want to continue doing the slip stitch all the way around until we've completed our edge here. And then we'll just do another slip stitch right into there. Alright, so now we are ready to fasten off. So what you want to do is, you don't want to cut it too close when you cut it, because then you want to make sure you leave a decent sized tail. About that much, it's perfect. So now... You want to go ahead and just pull that through that loop to fasten off and then you can just weave that in. Um, you can use the crochet hook to kind of weave it in or you can use one of these plastic crochet hooks or a metal one if you have but the plastic one is what I usually use. And you can just kind of like twist it to feed it through the eye. You probably think it won't work but it, it actually does fit through this one. So it's a little tricky to get through, but once you got it through, it works out just fine. Okay, so let me pull that through. There we go. See? I told you it would fit. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and just weave that down through there. And then I like to just weave it back and forth a little bit. But I don't want, you know, I don't weave it through both of them. I just put it through the one side. Here we go. couple more. There we go. Okay, so when you're satisfied with how far you wove it in there and you're satisfied that it's not going to unravel for you, then go ahead and cut that tail. And then if it's sticking out a little bit, just take the end of your crochet hook and tuck it back in there to hide it. And there you have your round. Oops, see the other one's sticking out. So let me go ahead and just tick that, stick that in or you can cut that one. That one snuck out on me. And that's no problem. Alright, there we go. Let me trim it down. There, perfect. So there we have our round dish scrubby. And it's very colorful. I already have a pink and now I have a yellow one. And you can just make lots and lots in different colors and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. If you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful, I hope that you will subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up. And until then, happy crocheting!